We have light. We are light. We must walk in this truth. We have light. We are light. We must walk in this truth. Follow me carefully. Direction is not the result of prayer and fasting. For you to pray and fast, asking God for direction is unbelief. Because in him you are led. You are what? You are led. You are led. It's not a result of prayer and fasting. It is the fruit of Christ's redemptive work. Direction is the fruit of Christ's redemptive work. It is what Christ has done in the born again man. Direction is what Christ has done. It is what Christ has done. And it is a function of the indwelling of the spirit. It is ours in him. Direction is ours. Direction is ours in him. The father has bestowed blessings on us. Blessings in Christ. And those blessings in Christ are for us. Anything found in him is ours. Anything found in Christ is ours. Anything. Anything. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blessed us with all. What kind of blessings? Spiritual blessings in heavenly in Christ. We are blessed with all. No faith required. Just acknowledge it. We are blessed with all. There is no faith required. For you to require faith to be blessed means you we are not blessed. But he has. Before you knew faith, he blessed you. Did you hear what I said? Before you knew faith, he blessed you. So that means faith is not required. The blessing is our heritage. <laughs> Only an ignorant man, after he is born, will pray for God to attach a nose to him. Only an ignorant man will be praying for God to give him nose. Your nose came with your birth. You don't pray for direction. It's like praying for nose when there is already one. Direction came with you at new birth. Listen carefully. Faith does not move God. Faith does not move God. How can faith move God? Is he a boy? God moved before faith came. It is the movement of God that gave us faith. Can I talk to somebody here? It was because God moved that faith came. It's the movement of God that gave us faith. Who is faith? Jesus, the author. And the finisher of faith. It was the movement of God that gave us Jesus. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only son. It was when he gave us Jesus that we knew faith. So how can our faith move God. When God already moved. Somebody says but, but you need faith to get things. You need faith. Yeah you need faith. You need to walk in faith. But it is not your faith. It is his faith. Moreover, faith cannot take what grace has not provided. You didn't hear that. Faith cannot receive what grace has not provided. Faith works within the confines of grace. Chateau Labada. Look at this. Grace has provided this circle. So faith will work inside this circle. Outside this circle, faith cannot work. Because faith can only cash what grace has provided. For by grace are you saved 
through faith. So faith could only save you because grace provided salvation. Am I talking to somebody here? What grace has not provided, faith cannot cash. You believe God for what God has done. You didn't hear me. You believe God for what God has done. You don't believe God for what God has not done. You can only believe within what God has provided. That means there is nothing you need that God has not provided. That means there's nothing you need that God has not provided. He has blessed us with all. All spiritual blessings. We are blessed. Nobody can cause us. In 2017, I prophesy. Anybody attempting to speak words over you that don't look like Christ. His words will bounce back. Somebody shout, I am blessed. The curse doesn't work here. Nobody can curse me. Curses cannot function in my life. I didn't hear that, amen. amen. Can I hear that, amen? amen? So no faith is required. Only acknowledge. Only acknowledge. The blessings are yours. You don't need to fast for it. You acknowledge it. Now that word acknowledge is the Greek word epignosis. It means accurate, exact, precise, revealed knowledge. Accurate, precise, revealed knowledge. Philemon 6. That the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. By the acknowledging. Your faith becomes effectual. Effectual when you acknowledge. Not when you pray for, but when you acknowledge. The acknowledging of every good thing triggers the effectual, the, the effectual working of your faith. 